Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am gonna be putting together this uh, candy box right here. It's super cute. I've shared it before, but I didn't do like an assembly um, kind of video. And so someone requested it and I thought it would be fun to do it. Plus I'm working on a swap and I think this will be um, a fun project to add to that swap. So these are the pieces it comes with. This is a KS Craft die set. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box of this video. It comes with the base piece. You'll need to cut two of these pieces out. Um, it is really long. It doesn't fit in your standard die cutting machine, but of course you can always make adjustments to get that cut. Um, and then it comes with these two pieces. So this one you would use to cut out your window. This one you would use to trim your window. And then it comes with two uh, word dies. This one says Merry Christmas and this one says Happy Valentine. So it's a really cute die set. Um, let's put it together really quickly. So these are the pieces. I cut two of these out. Um, then I used the window piece to cut out this one right here that doesn't have a decorative edge. I used that to cut out my little window and I just eyeballed it, added some washi and ran it through my die cutting machine. Then I grabbed this one and this one has a decorative edge. This is gonna be your little trim around your window. I ran this through with some gold foil cardstock. Um, I pick up my uh, gold cardstock from Michaels. So all I'm gonna do is, oh, and then I just cut a piece of acetate that measures two and a quarter by six. Um, and I've already added some double-sided tape to this. Let me get a little pokey tool so it'll be faster to pick these up. And this is where I'm going to add my acetate piece. I'll just place it over that double-sided tape as best as I can. Just like that. And run my fingers over it. And then I'm gonna use this powder because there's a little bit left right here. And so this powder is gonna take that adhesive part off so that nothing that I put inside will stick to it. There you go. I don't think there's any more pieces. It was just a little piece right here. Okay, so that's my acetate piece and I glued that on the inside of my box. Then I'm gonna add some liquid glue to this right here. So this weekend I thought I was really gonna get a lot done and I did not, you guys. <laughs> I have not gotten a lot done. Um, Typically, I do five videos for the week, and I start on Friday, I get all of my projects ready and everything cut out, and then on Saturday, I'll record my videos, sometimes really early in the morning when everyone's still asleep, um, and sometimes I finish, you know, like I start in the morning, and then once my family starts waking up, then of course later throughout the day, I'll finish the rest, but usually I get a lot done on Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday, you know, I don't have to worry about anything like... I typically upload uh, videos on Sunday, but usually I am done by Sunday, you know, and all my videos are are done. And this weekend, actually the, like the past two weeks, I have not been making videos. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I really have just not been having anything to say, I guess. <laughs> But I'm, I saw, I love going through y'all's comments and I saw someone ask about this. So I was like, hey, that's a great project to include in a swap that I'm preparing. And it's really easy to put together, a great video to share. So you've got these fold lines and all you do is fold up on those fold lines and adhere your box on those tabs. Um, just like so. It's really a great idea to fold on those fold lines before you start adhering. It's just easier that way. This one goes up just like that. Yeah, just like that. So see, our box has started to take shape. And then we're gonna do the same here. This first line goes down, this one goes up. These little tabs go in. Just like that. So yeah, if there are any dies that you want to see 
an assembly video on, let me know. Uh, someone also asked me to put together the lipstick holder dice from uh, Scrap Diva Designs from Erica. Erica, I do not have that die. Maybe you can include it in my next um, design team package. I hope she watches my videos so she can send that to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't have that die. Otherwise, I would have already done the video because like I said, I do listen. I, I love to read you guys' comments and I listen to your suggestions. They're always so helpful. So, and that's it, you guys. That's your box. So all I have to do is adhere these pieces. I'm just going to add a little bead of glue along this edge right here, or along this tab, and attach that. Oh, I just got glue on my acetate. Um, attach that to here. I should have used double-sided tape so that it would be quicker, but that's okay. Um, this video isn't going to be too long anyway. So in here, I thought it would be really cute to add a little candy necklace. Um, I'm definitely going to need to clean this acetate off. I wiped my acetate off. You know, I don't like to share my dirty towel. It's not dirty. It just looks really dingy. It's an old towel, but I love that towel. <laughs> It's my craft towel. It's like Linus's towel, basically. So again, just a bead of glue to this tab right here. You don't need to add too much. And then you're just going to fold this onto that. And really line that up as best you can. Okay. And you've got your box, right? You can seal this off right here with some glue, with some double-sided tape. Um, I'm just going to use some glue because I don't have any double-sided tape over here today. I'll just seal that up. Okay, and then you've got these little corners that go in like that, and these adhere like this. So you can use some Velcro, you can use a little paper clip, um, what else? A belly band, some twine. I've also got this bow that I think that I want to add to the top of this. I'm not sure. I've got this word that I cut out that I also want to add to this, and I think I will add this to the side just like this. I think I need some foam squares and I don't know where my barely art foam squares are let me check really quickly okay, I found them so let me move this empty plate out of the way move my glue over here I think I'm gonna grab this piece right here and just add that these are really great for making shakers I shouldn't be wasting it on this but it's just so convenient that I just want to do this quickly for video's sake but yeah typically i would just use this for creating shakers i would not waste this on creating depth for a word die oh this is so cute so cute you guys okay so this is what it looks like so far i think i am going to add um look how cute that is you guys isn't that adorable and so easy so i've got this little necklace and a bracelet and I'm gonna stick those in here and I think those are gonna be so stinking cute in there maybe I should add some like pink shred um, I think that's so cute but wait, let me see I'm gonna add this to this side and the bracelet to the other side so that the necklace you know will be visible look how cute that is ah oh, so cute so cute you guys look at that <laughs> Isn't that going to be so sweet? And then I haven't decided how I want to close this. Like, should I use some ribbon? Um, I had cut out this bow right here. I love this uh, heart, double double heart bow, I think is what it's called. Because I thought I wanted to add this to here. Maybe I'll add it here, right? And then just a little Velcro dot on these over here or some twine. What do you think? 
this is just so cute. I'm not sure how I am going to close this up. Let me see. Okay, you guys, so I just tied it with some seam binding. I thought this color looked really cute and just kind of popped. This is um, from my scrap cabin and it's in the shade lipstick. Um, and I think it just makes it pop and makes it look really Valentine's-y. I really love this project. Thank you guys so much for the suggestion. I think it's adorable. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.